Thanks for joining us for WCPO 9 News. I'm Brett Baganski, and we have some breaking news in Lachlan. Three train cars derailed. This happened within the last three hours, and WCPO 9 News reporter Andrew Rowan is live at the scene right now. Andrew, so what are you seeing? Brett, the train derailed basically right in front of Crescent Park on the Wyoming side. I want to show you some drone video. It's not the best because, of course, it is really dark out here, but you can sort of make out some of the emergency crews shining their flashlight over that derailed car. CSX says three rail cars derailed. One of them was carrying plastic pellets that spilled out. The second car that derailed was loaded, though we don't know with what. CSX says that is not leaking, and the third car is empty. The, the product that is on the ground is uh, non-hazardous plastic pellets, uh, and there, there's, there's quite an expansive area where, where uh, that tank car was, was ruptured and dropped those. Uh, there, there were many other hazardous materials cars involved, but there is no hazardous materials leaked from any of those cars, thankfully. Emergency crews here had that shelter in place order in effect for about two and a half hours. It was 500 feet around the derailment side, so basically down to South Cooper and north to Walnut Street. That was a precaution because they didn't know whether any of the hazardous cars on this train were leaking. Police tell us the train crew was not injured and other than the train itself, no other vehicles were involved. We do know the train derailed partly onto the auto repair shop parking lot that's near Crescent Park. That has some damaged cars. The train itself is significantly damaged and police say it's going to be an expensive operation for CSX to clean up, which is already starting to get in motion. We just saw in the last 30 minutes or so a couple of cranes and some of those highway lights enter sort of the, the roped off area that police have near the train tracks. But overall, no one injured in this train derailment. And they say that potentially by tomorrow, some of the railroad crossings here, Wyoming into Lachlan, could be open. In Lachlan, Andrew on WCPO 9 News.